Welcome back everyone. Now let's start with making the train test split. So for that, uh, the total length of data that I have is ARP that is 144, which is for 12 years because we have the monthly data, right? Now I'm going to split 70% for training and 30% for test. How is that going to work? You see over here, this is the same data which I have plotted. Now if you see, starting from here till here right that i will make as training data and the point where it ends starting from there till the end i will keep it as test right for testing data now let's just i just hope that it was clear now let's find the 70 percent of this data so for that what we're gonna do is length of the data frame into 70 divided by 100 let's see what comes it is coming 100 sorry It is coming 100, 100.28. Now we need to make it round, right? So this will be 101. Now the time comes when we should fetch the train data. Train and for that I am going to say air, air P starting from beginning till till this point, right? That will go in train data. Let's just see how does it looks train dot head right so it is starting from this 112 and will go till the end let's see where does it ends tell so here it is ending at may 57 now our test data should start from the month next to it which is june 1957 let's make that here i would say test data and in this this colon i will start pick this colon from here and i'll just put it here here it says start from this point where 70 percent is ending from that point i want to start it and here i would check test dot head all right so we are good over here right so here you see we are getting the june now let's just start now let's just start with actual model bending okay now here i would use train data instead of original um, i mean full data and here we are taking the passengers please note we are not uh, to to train the model we are not taking this difference data that was that is something which we just used to find the value for p d and q now for uh, p the value which we have is one for d we have it one and for q we have it three let's try to fit the model uh, let's try to have the model object created after that i'm going to fit the model so to that i would say model dot fit model is fitted let's see if it gives any error looks good just ignore this warning don't need to worry about it now i will make the prediction and for that i would say model dot fit dot predict predict and inside that i need to supply the data on which i want to make the prediction so for that there are two parameters we need to provide the start point start point will be test dot index zero so we want to make the prediction on test data right and then we need to provide the end point and for the end point i would use test dot index minus one let's see if this gives any error or works well working well okay now this is the prediction which is created now the next thing which comes is putting it in the data frame the data frame which we have over here right the the main data frame ar p okay and then i'll try to plot that so this is the prediction which is done let me just show you the prediction uh, how is that looking like you see these are the value this this is horrible <laughs> it's a arima model is not working well on this okay but anyway just let, let's just put it in the data frame all right uh, to put it in the data frame what we're gonna do is let's say arp and here i would create a variable i would say arima pred okay and here i'm just going to say prediction let's just put the prediction and then see 
arp dot head let's see okay because of the nan it is not showing you and for that reason let me just say head 12 okay okay so this is the tail data na? test data so that will be at the end let me say tail all right so here is what we got okay now let's just try to plot this data so sns dot sns dot we had created it on top of train data right so let's let's call it sns dot line plot and here i'm just going to say train data data equals to data equals to train x equals to x equals to train dot index and y equals to arima grid no, no. let's just take this this is your training data now because you build it on test data so here i would say test and here let's call it arima arima okay to build the mo model uh, sorry to plot the graph what we need to do is let's take the original data frame because in original data frame we have everything right and if you see it has any values so what i will do is i'll just drop them drop na remember this is not permanent drop okay arp uh, now if you see arp dot head so it is going to oops sorry for the spelling mistake drop any so here i will say arp dot drop any and if you say in place equals to true that will be permanently removed but at this point i don't want to do that so for that what i will do is yeah, I'll, I'll keep it to this right then i would say sns start line plot data equals to air p x equals to air p dot index then y equals to arima this variable where we have stored our values now let's just see how does it looks like this is how it is looking like but it is hard to interpret how it is doing against the actual value so for that what i am going to do is uh, instead of arima parade here i am taking passengers this is what our real value is right now you see the difference you see over here it is coming so this is the reason because uh, arima model is not fitting on it right so let's try to check the mean um, MSE what is the error right so for that I would say NP square root into this mean square error for that you would require to import it first from sklearn dot matrix import mean squared root mean squared error okay this is the module which will help us to find it mean squared error and inside that i would put the value these two values right arima prayed and the passengers okay test date let's say test passengers and i guess that we have created this value right now this is the mean squared error you are getting now if i do a square root for this 
this is what we are getting 427 so this is absolutely not a good model okay so now the next step which we're gonna do is we're gonna see how to make it uh, how to make a seasonal arima uh, arima model okay seasonal arima model uh, which we will see in the next one